Hi, my name is Doug Loke. I'm from the Mendham Garden Center. We have three locations in New Jersey, Chester, Mendham, and Annandale, New Jersey. You can find us on the web under MendhamGardenCenter.com. Today what I'd like to do is do a short little video on fall leaf cleanup. The leaves are starting to fall and they usually uh, have quite a few of them that are going to come down now. And we want to talk about three different products. We want to talk about a handheld leaf blower. We want to talk about the backpack leaf blower. And we also want to talk about the big old walk behind leaf blower to really move some leaves. The first thing we want to do is we want to be able to talk to you and ask you how much property do you have and determine how many leaves you have to move. This will tell us to guide you to the right piece of equipment for the job. The first one I want to talk about is a still product. It's called the BG55. It's a handheld unit that uh, is pretty popular in the industry. A lot of people own handheld leaf blowers. But still, this BG55 is one of the better ones in the industry. Still equipment is far, right now is rated number one as far as uh, handheld uh, units in the country. The BG55 is a lightweight handheld little uh, blower, good for small projects, small yards, and around the shrub beds, blowing off the patios. And that's what's nice with this unit is that it becomes a, a year-round tool that we can use for uh, opposed to some of the other units like a walk-behind blower are limited to what it can do, just leaves. What you want to know about leaf cleanup, what's going to move your leaves is what they measure is CFM. That is cubic foot per minute. That is the amount of volume of air that the unit will put out. This unit is putting out a little over 400 CFM. Now, that is powerful for a handheld blower. In the industry, uh, a lot of companies measure miles per hour. Well, that's part of blowing leaves, but the CFM is the more important measurement. Miles per hour can be changed by opening or closing the end of the tube. So remember that in looking at blowers. So you can come see us for a handheld blower to do the job of a smaller piece of property. Now, if we have a hilly piece of property or larger piece of property, we may want to consider then the backpack blower that we have right over here. Still puts out a backpack leaf blower. It's called their BR600. It's the biggest leaf blower in their lineup. And it is the one, one of the most powerful leaf blowers in the industry now on the market. Powerful in that it's putting out the highest CFM. Remember, that's cubic foot per minute. This one is putting out almost 700 cubic, a little over 700 cubic foot per minute of air. And that's powerful. That's going to move some leaves. What's nice about it is it's strapped right on our back so that when we're doing the bigger project, got it comfortably mounted on our back, strapped right in, and we can go to town. We can lock our throttle in and just go to town blowing leaves. Very convenient for hills and property that's medium, medium in size, uh, the unit. This one can be used here again in the summer months for cleaning off the patios and everything. Still works. Now, for those of you that have large piece of property and a lot of leaves, a lot of trees, we're going to want to talk to you about this guy here. Little Wonder is one of the uh, products in the marketplace for walk behind leaf blowers. This is a walk behind leaf blower, means that we've got to push it. There, it doesn't power power itself. They uh, they do make ones that are self propelled, but get a little pricey. But what we're doing when we go to this unit is we are using a nine horsepower leaf blower, but it's not just about the engine, it's about this propeller. When you get into a leaf blower like this, now we've got a big propeller blowing some leaves, powered by a nine horsepower engine. The backpack, you can see the blower housing, it's only so big. And then in the leaf handheld blower, here again, it's only so big. When you get into this guy, you got a big propeller. 
the unit has been set up great in that we can direct our leaves either out the front or we can direct them out the side. Little Wonder has also came up with a patent design. It's called Split. And what it does is it blows the air down low as well as there's a chute in here that allows it to blow it out high. So you're moving air right across all those leaves once they get going. The other thing you, what we've learned over the years in leaf blowing is that we can take a walk behind leaf blower like this or any one of these and we can blow the leaves all the way back into the woods. The trouble is that sometimes it's just too many leaves and it's too hard to get that next windrow of leaves to go over. So what you can simply do is put a tarp out in your yard, blow your leaves onto that tarp, grab hold of that tarp, pull it into the woods, empty your tarp, go back to your project makes it simple. So remember, uh, just quickly to uh, give us a call, you'll find us on the web at mendofgardencenter.com. Call one of the locations and talk about more of your needs of leaf blower equipment. You can also find Still on the web, uh, check out their products. Uh, we are a large uh, a retailer of theirs, have most of their products in stock. You can find them at uh, stillusa.com. Thank you and Happy leaf cleanup. Thank you for watching. You can buy any one of these products at one of our locations.